hi welcome back to my channel my name is Laura and it's Friday so today I'm supposed to be doing Friday reads I really don't have anything to report this today uh, of how I'm reading I am in a reading slump yep when I am forced to read I don't like reading and every time I pick up a book I fall asleep so I will update what I'm in the middle of but I didn't get very far since last Friday and then I will share all the creativity that I've been making with my free time besides reading. So let's start off with the books that I started to read. So Harlan Coben, I am reading Tell No One. Um, I am on chapter four, I believe. I read 47 pages. And every time I pick it up, uh, I read at night and I fall asleep. Even if I read in the morning, I wake up at nine and I try to read a chapter and I fall asleep and I sleep till like 11. So yeah, so this is what I am reading. Um, so far I've enjoyed it, except it's putting me to sleep. It's really relaxing. Books put me to sleep. Uh, but I'm going to try to continue reading this one and try to pick it up and read more. So, Death by Dumpling is on my Kindle here. Uh, I have my Kindle in here. I have everything in a 31 tote uh, of the books that I'm reading for March Mystery Madness. And on my Kindle, I have a Kindle Paperwhite. I am still on page 87. I have not read anything since last week, I don't think. So, I am stuck on page 87. So, that's on here. Okay, so the other book that I was trying to read is this one, Asylum. I did read a little bit more since last Friday, I hope. <laughs> I hope I read more. Uh, but I am struggling with the French words, uh, and I am on page 42. So I, I think I read a few pages since the last Friday. Um, I don't like the French part. Um, it, what happens is when I start to read and I get up to the French part, uh, it stumbles me and then I have to read and skip over those words and continue reading. Now, um, I really don't know, um, uh, if I'm liking this or not. So I will try to read more and see, um, see what's going to happen. So that's this one. All right, I think that is it for the three books that I was reading since last week. I did try to read this one last week, but I only read six pages. I didn't go any uh, further than six pages on this. So um, as I said, I don't feel like reading uh, and yeah, that's an issue. Anyway, so what have I been doing besides this? I've been slow stitching and I've been quilting. I took my sewing machine out uh, and um, I jammed my sewing machine. I had to learn. I thought it had to go in for service, but it didn't. Uh, so um, I've been making tops. Um, I am going to share the things that I've made so far. So hold on. The first thing that I made in March is a table runner and I did this with six inch squares and I did it uh, slow stitched. It is like this um, and I appliqued the, um, the hearts on there to make a shamrock and then I did a different block in between and I sewed them all together um did it by like a quilt um quilt as you go type thing so there's my different blocks it's very long it goes on my dining room table but it's really really skinny so it's only six inches wide the next time i make one i will probably make a 12 inch one which would be double the size but this is my first attempt and this was all done by hand i think that Yes, everything was done by hand except, no, I did everything by hand. Everything on here was done by hand except when I binded it together, I did use the sewing machine. So the little blocks, six by six, I made by hand. 
uh, and then the binding in between, I used the sewing machine and then I did the binding on the back and just put black, uh, black, put green on the back and I just sewed, used my sewing machine to bind it together. So that's how um, I made this one. So I'm really excited that I completed something, something for March. Uh, so I, the only thing I really need to do is put the year on the back of this so I know when I made it. But, um, and I used this little puppy. I love the puppy print so yeah so this was a lot of fun to make it didn't take me very long and again as i did each block i did a day maybe like an hour or so watching a tv show this little thing and i did it day by day in the month of march so yeah so that's my first project finished the second project that i'm working on is called the home is and it's by Pat Salone. Um, I've been getting the blocks from her and really enjoying this one. I am making a, a book, fabric book out of it. So I think you could probably make a quilt out of it because that's what she says to do with it. But I don't really like the different types of blocks within a quilt. It looks too busy for me. And I figured I would make them as a quilt blocks and use it as a quilt book. So that's my job. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. So my front cover of my book is going to be the very first block that she gave us, which was the house. And I've been hand stitching, slow stitching on the top of this one. And this is what it's looking like. I put the year on it. I did very close stitches going across. I'm using the um, the chain stitch here, the um, running stitch here. Um, and um, right now I'm working on the daisies on the bottom. So here is the da one daisy, two daisy. I already started the daisy here, but I didn't finish it last night. So there's daisies there. I got to do the yellow in the middle. I have to do the stem going down. So that's what I'm going to do across here. I'm really enjoying watching TV while I'm watching. I have watched Seinfeld with my daughter making this. Um, and then last night I finished Man with a Plan, which was really funny. And I'm watching Walking Dead. So this is what I've been sewing by hand while I'm watching those TV shows. So that's going to be the cover of my book, The House. Okay, the back cover of my book is going to be this one. Uh, I haven't sewn on this. This is done by sewing machine, the cover. Uh, I think this was the second block, maybe. Um, and I am going to stitch, hand stitch this and use this as the back cover. Um, I, haven't, I haven't started stitching on here yet, but... That's what it's going to look like. I love the camera and I just went the, with the camera in the black and white. Really love how this came out. So that's going to be that. And then I did another block to go on the inside, which is this one. I went again with the puppy. Um, this will be the inside cover of the house. So um, yeah, I'm going to sew the two together as I'm learning. I'm going to sew this to this this block and you see see my stitching is a lot you can see my stitching it's a mess so to cover up the stitching what you do is you sew it on top of another block when i finish stitching the top of this one i will sew it together to this it will make it nice and fluffy so this will be sewn together and then i'll put a binding around it to take off this extra um, extra fluff, whatever you call it inside, um, batting, extra batting. So that's going to be my front cover. This will be the second page. And then I have to make another block to go on the back of this one. And this will be the back. And then I'm going to put a spine in between. So the spine, I think, uh, she has some like flying geese pattern or something. I will make as the spine. And I think that will be cool. And then I'll put pages in between. So that's how all this is working out. Really enjoying this project. And I love the fabrics that I chose to make my book for 2021. So that's that project. 
The next project that I did, I'm working on, it's already started to hand stitch. I have it in a frame. I bought a 17 by 17 frame. It is a wall hanging. This is a national quilting day pattern that I got uh, free. And I did it together. I went to Walmart and I picked up these appliques. Here's the butterfly. And I have some dragonflies on there that I ironed on. And then I've been hand stitching this in a 17 by 17 frame. Uh, the back is just pieced together fabrics. I did just this, use the same fabrics and I just made the backing. Uh, and that's what I'm working on now. So this is hard to do in a 17 by 17 frame. I have to like hold it on my desk and hand stitch it. So um, yeah, my needle fell, I think. Anyway, so that is um, <clears throat> the, the other project that I'm working on while I'm watching TV. So yeah, so this is fun, a lot of fun. Okay, so that's that. And I made one more thing, but I'm gonna have to change my camera around uh, to show you because it's hanging on my wall. Okay, so I made this wall hanging a bunny uh, I found the pattern from someone on uh, Pat Salone's Facebook group, um, and I just drew it out on graph paper uh, to make the pattern. Uh, so this is what I made, um, and I also made the, the wall thing behind. It is a Dollar Tree poster board. I made two of them. Uh, it's called a design board, and then I bought flannel um flannel pillowcase holders and I put them onto the thing and I hung it on the wall um yeah let me um show you the back of the wall thing okay so in here is a poster board from the Dollar Tree and this is a flannel um pillowcase that I put on top it actually makes the fabric stick to it so I'm going to take a piece of fabric and while I'm designing, I can stick the fabric on there and it works really good. Now, the only thing is when you start sewing the, the things together. So here's my block here. When you start sewing, it gets kind of heavy and then it won't stick anymore. But if you're just designing like a little block like this with a couple of pieces, let me just grab some more. You can design as you go here. So they stick, which is cool. So there you go. So you can design your, your block on the wall like that. So there you go. Um, I did it this way. And how I hung it, I didn't want to put holes in my wall to hang this. So I use these clips here. See the clips there? And in order to hang it, I used safety pins. So the safety pins across. And I just safety pin this on. And then it hangs right onto the hook which is cool so there you go um yeah so i needed I, at first i was only doing on this one board and my son's like that's bunny's gonna be too big uh so um i had to make another board so here's my bunny uh, the bunny bottom was hitting the whole bottom and then the bunny head went on the top of the, so I had to make two boards. They're both hung the same way with the hooks. And then as I was doing it, it was getting very heavy. And I put these pins on here, which works out great because it holds it. And it pins right into the poster board. So, um, yeah. So it cost me uh, $2, one bottle for each board. And then I don't remember how much the... Um, pillowcase thing maybe 14 bucks so about 16 bucks i will put the link to the pillowcase if i could find it i bought it from amazon uh and it works out really well so that's my little project i have a lot of scraps left over from my bunny quilt that i want to make the back using the same fabric so in order to make the back, I'm going to piece together a whole bunch of blocks. I use graph paper and I design my own type of block thing. Uh, so um, I need it to be as big as the bunny 
and this is uh, just me using colored pencils. I was coloring in the little boxes and each box, each little block here, I had a whole bunch punched out for um, the bunny. These are all left over and I was like, I'm going to use these blocks to make something out of. So here I am designing it on graph paper and I have a whole bunch of fabric in my basket here that I want to use that I, this is my leftover fabric from my bunny. I want to use this up for my backing. So backing and binding. So that's how I'm working uh, my bunny. So that's my goal for this week is to make the back of the bunny and uh, get that together for Easter. So on etsy i found a modern quilter and i ordered a few things so this is going to be an unboxing type video uh and i bought some new fabrics and i just want to share i think that i got a half yard of each i'm trying to look on my directions here it looks like a half yard i bought a half yard of everything so um this is the first one that i bought i may use this on my bunny uh quilt i think i'm because it's the same colors i may use this as the binding going around the quilt so that's the first fabric that i picked up the second one as you know i love butterflies i picked up this beautiful purple and blue butterfly thing uh, i thought it looked really cool and that i could cut out the butterflies so that would be really cool to use love the colors on this so that's the second thing i got the third thing is purple and uh purple and blue again my favorite colors i could not resist not getting this so yeah beautiful and then butterflies again this time i went with red um yeah i don't know what i'm going to use this for but again as i said the butterflies are really huge i could cut them out and applique them on something which is really cool and the last thing is my daughter loves guitars and i had to get this and i will make something with this look at that she will love this once i make something out of it i don't know what i'm going to make but yeah i had to have this so i only got a quarter but i could use put this in some kind of a quilt or something i think she would love it uh and maybe blues and browns it's beautiful look at that so yeah so that's the last thing that I got from the modern quilter. Uh, yeah, so that's it for my fabric purchase this week. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, sorry I didn't read much this week, but um, I am doing my quilting. I'm doing something. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in another video. Bye.